There's some people that was a little bit upset about last week's solo leveling episode saying, hey, it's not enough. What's with the cliffhanger? And I kind of agree, right? Because technically it should have felt like a one hour premiere, but we're about to get the good stuff right now. Let's begin today's reaction. Yeah, that's right. Everybody's dying here. But you can't move, right? Yeah. Remember, like, revere God, put your faith in God, some other shit too, right? Remember. Juhi's done. True, because he had, like, the whole flashback of showing us his busted shoes, which actually was for he has survival instincts. Yeah. It just seems dangerous. The instinct, I don't know. Again, the instinct. Oh, never mind. Oh, it's completely... Oh, I didn't realize. Oh, it was actually completely cut off. But honestly, if you've seen some of the stuff that was cut from the web episode, apparently Mr. Song here, this dude is like 60 years old, by the way, and he's supposed to be like a really cool adventurer, but it's because of his greed in the webtoon that we're in here. Like, he was the biggest one proponent, even guilt-tripping people saying, oh, if you don't go, I'm going to go by myself. Well, you fucking deserve this. Yeah, Juhi's done. Damn, even B rank dungeons are super hyped up. Or maybe even beyond this, if there is such a tier. Exactly! Focus on the whatever that said there. Revere God, praise God, and then prove your faith. But these are so abstract. What, do you, what does that mean? Probably the big statue, right? So how do we like revere it? Do we just glaze it up like, oh, you're such a big statue. You're so cool. Yeah, we already know this. This feels like a recap of a shonen anime, you know? Goldie Roger hit his treasure everywhere. <laughs> you know, that whole fucking intro. Yeah, this intro is a fucking shonen repeat at, like an intro scene. Fame, fortune, power. <laughs> All right, narrator, he's cooking. Uh, probably his sister. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is the girl that had the hood on. That was in the, um... The uh, uh, the assessment room with the other guy that's in the trailer has a super pay to win armor, right? So she's like a classmate of this is Jinwoo's sister, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, so Jina, Jinu, okay. He's hustling for your ass! Hmm. The fuck did she come out of nowhere just to fucking flex on us like that? What the fuck? I hope we flex on her later, dude, after we get her powers. No, don't run. No, don't do it. You're gonna die. Stop. Stop. The moment you start monologuing how confident you're about your speed, he's dead. He's fucking dead. I told you, you should have both fucking revere the guy, dumbass. <laughs> my feet, my fat, sorry, my speed is the fastest ever. I believe in it. Instantly fucking gone, dude. Holy. Yo, Jin Mu should steal his shoes. We're, we're running out of shoes, right? We should loot him right now. <laughs> Don't panic. Revere God. Don't panic. That's right. It could kill you, but it's not. Meaning it's willing to play this game. That's right. It's like a little mini game. Follow the rules. Revere God. So like, what do we do? Do we straight up just like start bowing to the fucking statue? Like, oh, great statue. You're so big and mighty and strong. We would never do anything against you. And then the statue's going to be like, good. Check mark. Next. Like, what, we just glaze it up? Yeah. Revere it. Oh, he's serious. Look at the shading there. He's serious. Oh, careful. Revere, revere, revere. So if you put your head down, it looks like the laser doesn't go up, right? 
So all you have to do is bow? Yeah, yeah, when he stood up, the eyes started lasering, then he kind of just went like this, right? And then the eye laser went away. So that's like revering, I guess, huh? Okay, okay, okay. okay. So, so don't make eye contact. Just fucking look at the ground. Just like bow. Don't guess the time. Juhi's perfect because she's already doing it. Dude, I can't believe Family Guy's still alive with the poofy green jacket. No, no, no. There's three phases though. So did we pass phase one? Wait! That's the face! That's the face! This is the iconic face of this fucking statue we see everywhere! Yeah, this one. <laughs> nice smile. Don't look, though! Put your head down. So he's happy that we revered it, right? No, 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 no. So because we made God happy, we can get up now? No, there's three phases. What was the second commandment? Praise God, praise him! Praise him, say he's so tall and cool and handsome! This guy looks kind of cool, right? But what if he just gets mob character right now? I don't know, his design looks cool. He's saying like, oh, I know of this. Let me handle it. All right, let him cook. Let him cook. What are you cooking, bro? Praise the God. Come on, he's praying. Is, is it working though? We're, we're, we're praising God, but... Wait, wait, wait. Who are you praying to right now, though? Because he's like praying to... God, but we should be praying to the statue. So is that hey, he's about to step on him? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Bro is probably saying, "How dare you!" Right? The disrespect. Yo, there's the fucking face again. This, I, this gotta be thumbnail, right? This has to be the fucking thumbnail, right? Yo, them grippers, though. Goodbye. So I think we're close there. No, we're close. We just have to praise that statue. Oh, Juhi, you. I thought that was Juhi for a second. <laughs> Family man's still alive, man. Don't you dare mention. Third time. Third time. If this guy raises three death flags and survives, I will fucking list him as the best character of this show. If he survives. Wait, wait. Damn. Damn. Clean in hell. Just straight up say, oh, you have such nice pearly teeth and you're so tall. And your toes too, they're great. It just says praise God, just praise him. Oh, he's dead. Ooh. Yeah, weapons, instruments, what? Run to the statues with instruments? Why? In interesting, okay. What, is he gonna start playing a fucking music that the god's gonna like? Well, why the instruments? Huh? So the statues with weapons will fuck you up, but the instruments won't. They play a song. <laughs> Drum beat. Drum beat. Juhi, get the fuck out of there! Okay, never mind. Okay, so one person has to be associated with each instrument thing, okay. Damn, he's actually running fucking fast if he can avoid that. No, 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 he escaped it, he escaped it. That's not the instrument! Oh! That's the episode, guys. I'm sorry, solo leveling is officially over Sung Jin Woo's. Come on now, how did he survive this? Let's see it. Wait, how did he survive this? Right, then he runs, shield guy. Boom! 
And then... Now you good. He good. How though? How? He just missed it? Damn, you can just... You can just like feel the desperation and... Oh my god, it's grippers though. The way that he's just crawling, man. This is some last stand shit. The soundtrack is part of the instrument singing. Sorry, playing. Wow. So praising means just play the instruments for him. Okay. That is really cool that Hiroki Sawano soundtrack is incorporating the actual mechanics of this instrument playing right now. That's so cool. Oh, his legs. What happened to his legs? What happened? The shield did something, right? Oof. I, I mean... If he's so poor, technically he only has to buy one shoe now, so maybe this is a dub. So technically we could take that shoe and there's basically another shoe for him later. So like, it's, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. That's right, faith in God, what does that mean? What does that mean? Um, something has been erected in the middle, I don't like it. Isn't an altar used for like sacrifices where you like kill somebody? Yeah. Oh, they're all like, yeah, that's right, that's right. Okay, the man bragging about his fucking wife and the second child had it coming. But Mr. Song, he deserved this. Fucking get yourself in the altar. That's right. What is the accountability? Will he actually do it, though? Okay, maybe it's time for him to be a hero? One flame. Why only one flame? Okay. The most useless hero, sorry, the hunter is being the most useful right now, huh? Somehow he's the most impactful right now. Alright, you're fucking annoying. Like, you are the reason why the chat right now is fucking, uh, like, blurred on YouTube side. Good. Get the fuck out of my face. Okay, it takes a long time to open a gate. So like, the longer this gate's open, obviously, the more threat that Earth has, because monsters come out. Imagine that thing starts walking around like a colossal titan everywhere. No, it's sad mom scene. No. Bro, she's in a fucking coma? She can't even listen? This family is so... They need some help, man. It's, oh yeah, it is. At least she's alive, right? In most anime, the mom is already dead. But the dad's always usually gone too. Okay, wait, the fire's all lit up because we entered. M more blue flames now? What is this mechanic? Have we made the preparations correctly? We can leave? No, we, we can't leave, right? No shot, no. <laughs> oh. What would you do right now? If the gate opened, but there's still fires lit, the altar is still there, but the gate has opened. You saw the last guy that ran out, got fucking cut right in the fucking diagonally, right? But if the knights are coming in at you, I feel like I would run, right? But what's the third, what's, what's the third commandment though? The third commandment is have faith in God. So are we supposed to do something so counterintuitive? Because right now I would run. I would fucking run. So this is like a game of chicken? No, I no. <laughs> Just believe. Easier said than done, dude. Yo, it's coming out of weapons. What old children's game? Just, w w Just look at the statues and they don't move. Oh, okay. Interesting mechanic. Just look at them. Yo, the intimidation alone. She can't look, right? No, you idiot! She gonna die. That's, that sucks, though. I like her because of her white lipstick, right? She, I, I liked her design, but unfortunately, she about to die. One flip. 
white lipstick gal lives? But did you see that? Did you see that? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. She says, fuck the team. I'm out. She leaves, but the fling goes out. One fling goes out. The door slightly closes, but she still makes it out. So... When you see shit like this, you know what I'm doing? <laughs> I'm the second one out right now. Hey, I'm fucking out, dude. But like, there can only be, how many people can leave, huh? How many people can, cause the door is gonna keep closing. So like, the selfish people are gonna get the fuck out. And Jin Woo's not gonna be, so, well he can't even fucking run his legs cut in half. I mean, it, it's, but is, what if she gets killed outside afterwards? Is it a trap outside? I don't know. But it said put faith in God. So I feel like that's not something we're supposed to be doing, but let her cook. Let her cook. <laughs> yeah, the blue flames are <laughs> chilling, but the red ones, the orange is going out. The third is just believe. <laughs> just fucking believe. Ah, he's out. Bro, bro is out. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Jin Woo. <laughs> but this is... Another one out, and the door closed more. But, like, this is a natural reaction, man. Like, this is straight up the most natural human reaction. No one's gonna be trying to be a hero. Everyone is trying to survive for their own. Like, you guys will do the same shit, man. I don't really blame this guy. This is very realistic. Get the fuck out of my face. And another one gets out. No, he made it again. Everyone's gonna leave, man! Just believe! Just believe! It's okay, so the blue light is a timer. As long as we just stay here and look at the statues, it should be fine. But human nature, selfishness, and survival instinct? No one's gonna do that! Would Juhi leave too? Oh my god, dude, will she leave? Yeah, he's actually contributed so much. Wait, 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 wait. No, what? He's building us up. The only reason someone starts a conversation by glazing somebody is so that you can then let them down. Oh, Sung Jin Woo, I never expected anything from you. You've done so well. You've done such a good job. I'm out. <laughs> I can't even blame him! This is the most realistic reaction, honestly. He is such a human right now. What? That's what they are. Dude, we're actually getting betrayed! And we can't stop them from closing in, right? Because we can only look at one. We need more people looking at them before the blue counter goes down. No way Juhi leaves, right? Oh? Giga Chat, Mr. Song? You two should leave? Yo, is he about to be a fucking hero? Wait, let him cook! He is pretty much like, he's like 60 something years old, man. Oh, Juhi can't fucking move. If Juhi can't fucking move, and if Jin Wu has his leg fucking cut off, and how are we gonna survive this? The only logical conclusion here is Mr. Song either takes Juhi or G uh, or Song. I <sighs> don't tell me we're gonna get betrayed in a in a. We're, we're not really getting betrayed, right? This is everybody just like fighting for their own survival. But damn, what a fucked up way to do this. The okay at this point. I, you, know, you know what just happened in Mr. Song's mind right now when she just said, my legs won't move? Do you know what, the, what kind of feeling just, you know, went through him? It's the feeling of relief. It's the feeling that, fuck yes, I have an excuse now to run out with this bitch. Bye-bye, Sung Jin Woo. The, the, the evil person in me is making these connections in my head because if I was in Mr. Song's position and if I heard you, he say this, I'd be like, Ooh, I'm fucking living, man. I'm fucking living, man. Goodbye. Bye-bye. I mean, I have to do a song. What do you, what do you want me to do, song? Huh? What do you want me to do, Jim? You want me to save you instead of the girl? Come on, man. Be a man, man. <laughs> this is so fun. <laughs> oh, no. 
さんと逃げてください。いや、エリスチンはアクシスターと。私が残ると言っただけじゃ誰がジェクターを運べんですか時間がありません。早く。There really is no time. There's only three flames left, and there are three people, meaning as soon as there's one left, and then what? Well, okay. Well, think about this, guys. Think about this, right? What do we know about this show? We know this show is about a big fucking cool K pop idol. But Sung Jin Woo is not a K pop idol right now. Somewhere he gets a power up. And this is saying, place your faith. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking this is not an altar. This is a surgery bed. And these statues are about to give us the best South Korean plastic surgery that has ever been known to mankind. And bro is about to get a fucking glow up. I think that this is what's gonna happen right now. Let him cook. That's not enough for money! No, it's 80 bucks, it's 80 bucks, it's fine, it's fine, it's 80 bucks. That's the most cliche anime thing. Neck chop. That's like a neck poke, actually. Fuck! Well... Damn, even now, I'm the only one who has to die. He is such a hero, man. He's got a good heart, but... If we just believe, if we just believe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> We're trying to kill himself, maybe, before they do it. Okay, never mind. Okay. I mean, bro couldn't beat a fucking goblin. What's he thinking, trying to beat the statue, right? So, are, is this the plastic surgery? What, what, what is he doing? Yo, the voice acting right now. Ooh, his arm! Do you hear the voice acting? Do you hear the shaky voice? Holy fuck. Maybe the thumbnail should be Sung Jin Woo on a couch and all these soldiers lined up behind the couch, you know? Maybe we should do something like that. <laughs> oh, the guy, the family man that ran out at the end. Damn. Mask off. He's absolutely correct. But it, it is the selfish that live on at the end. This world, the evil people always live the longest, man, because they're selfish. They take what they want. While the good people, like Jin Mu, are the fucking people that are actually they just sacrifice, scapegoats, man. Damn. Yo. Revenge plot? <laughs> Revenge plot? <laughs> the voice acting is immaculate right now, though. Holy shit. No, man. No, man. You're about to get a crazy plastic surgery right now, dude. Oh, shit. That's a big boy. The last flame, though. So if the blue flame goes out before we die, what does that mean? Because there's the whole mechanic of, hey, we're supposed to stay in here until all the blue lights go off, right? The blue light is still on and they're still attacking. But what if we actually make it? What if the- You know the fucking FNAF? You know when we were playing FNAF? You know at fucking 6am we're like, Oh shit, is it gonna hit 6am or not? Is it? <laughs> oh! I didn't hear a splash. 6- 6am? 6am? Game menu! Notification. The secret quest, courage of the week. And just like that, we have unlocked one of the most important things that a main character in a power fantasy or an isekai needs. A fucking game UI that you can only see. It's time to fucking level, boys! You have... Wait, 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 wait. You've acquired the qualifications to be a player. Of a game?
Your heart will stop in 0 0.02 seconds. That's not enough of time to fucking react. Your heart will stop in 0 0.02 seconds if you choose not to accept. Oh, okay, if, if you don't choose, it'll end. Okay, of course we're gonna fucking accept. What do you mean? Yes. Anyways, that's the episode. Goddamn. Man, if they had this portion of the uh, of the episode in episode one, right? If, if they combined it into a one hour premiere, fuck, I think it would have been so good, right? I, I, I'm sure people are still happy with this, but a lot of people had some kind of like worries and nitpicking. I'm sure maybe they just wanted to farm the free engagement because you know that fucking Soul 11 is such a big title, right? Damn, this episode, man. This fucking episode, the three commandments, right? Revere God, praise God, place your faith in God. The absolute brutality, the desperation, and the dire situation everyone is in. I think everybody's reactions, like these characters, are perfect. They're just human beings. They are hunters, but they are just humans that just want to survive to another day. Everyone was trembling and they acted in their own self-interest and it's, you know, they're going to get what they get, especially this guy. This guy was one of the funniest, too. He's like, oh, I've been studying ethnology. There's some extolments where God comes to mind. Wrong fucking God, dumbass. First plat done. There's a lot of toes from the God. This girl right here, I thought that she was Juhi for a second. No, she wasn't Juhi. She did not die. Juhi actually survived. Family man, for a second, I thought we were getting baited. I thought he was going to die. He did die. He got split right into half again. If you're ever going to this mission, never bring up your fucking family, okay? You see this guy at the left side? The left guy also had a family, but he didn't mention that bullshit, okay? He only mentioned at the end where he yoinked the place to escape and he survived. Unf and this gal girl too, right? The white lipstick, she survived too, man. Man, this episode, the absolute work of the voice actors, even like the praise scene where we're lighting up the instruments, Hiroyuki Sawano's like soundtrack was literally in sync with this, right? The, the instruments start playing and the soundtrack is that instrument playing. That is such a cool thing that they did with it. Again, it's not the most important thing, but little details like that goes to show how much love this studio might have for this show. Jimu is getting cut up. He's getting beaten up, but it doesn't matter, baby. You know why? Because he's about to get the best fucking South Korean plastic surgery Gangnam has to fucking offer. As soon as all the blue lights went out, he unlocked a new fucking UI. He's a player now. What does that mean? I don't fucking know. Probably means that he can just level, right? Because this title of this show is called Na Honjaman Leveling. It's called Solo Leveling, but the Korean translation is Only I Level implying that he can continue to become stronger while everyone else is fixed into a position. And I wonder if we're gonna actually care about the revenge against other people. Do we even need a revenge? Everyone else was just trying to survive. I feel like it's not really their fault, but goddamn. The funniest part, in my opinion, Mr. Song saying, all right, kids, I'm gonna stay behind. You guys survive. And, and, and I know it for sure when Mr. Song said this heroic bullshit in the back of his mind, he's probably thinking, fuck. Fuck, what have I got myself into? Fuck, please give me an excuse, please. And then Chewie fucking collapses. <laughs> My leg won't move. <laughs> and then Mr. Song is like, Brrr. yes, yes. And he's escaped. Well, technically, if they all were in the blue circle together, would they all become a player like Jin Mu? I don't really know how that works. Is it only one person in love? Or is everyone in love? Because technically, if we just stood there, stared at the statues and let the blue counter go down, then wouldn't everyone become a player? But hey, not everyone can do that because only I level up. And that is the official translation of this anime. Man, this anime has been so hyped up, so anticipated. And I think it's actually fucking delivering on where it counts. 24 episodes, by the way, I think it's gonna be split core. But goddamn, we got a lot too far. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.